J Boom here again with another little bit of commentary. This one is semicolon, and uh, the guy that requested this one, since it's on personal stock and not official stock, he asked if I could, uh, you know, do something a little bit, a little bit different. Sometimes I don't know exactly how different people are willing to let me go, but generally I like to err on the side of a bit more gruesome or, or gory, so that is what I opted to do on this one. And as you'll see here, what I opted to do was to have his arms up splitting his head apart and you'll see the skin tearing in the middle there right where it split from monster to kid and uh, in his hands you'll see some of the hair grasped twisted out there And in just a second, we should start adding in the, uh, the brain and the skull. You'll be able to see as he's splitting apart there. It's kind of fun drawing the hands up because you know that's not part of the original card. And in fact, in the original card, you don't even really see much of his arms at all. But you do know that that side of him that I'm drawing right now is, is green, so I, of course, wanted to make his, his arms green as well as hand green. The sleeve is, uh, is torn, as you can see there, which you can see in the, in the original card. Lobber on the shirt. Well, there now, I'm finally doing the brain. There's some cracks in the skull there. It's hard to see until you get the color in there, but there's some blood on the edges of the skin, popping the hair in there. Bunches of it sort of protruding from where the hand is grasping it. And then that little spot out of the ear is the, the gunk, like the earwax. And up here we've got the blood, which is not part of the original card, for those familiar with it. So I enjoy this part quite a bit. Decided to add a couple of little warts on his arms too there. Just cleaning up the lines a little bit. And this one, uh, as you'll see, I opted to ink um, instead of color first. So I ended up leaving this one out for about a day before I went back in and color it, even though in the video you can't really tell. It sort of looks like it's one right after the other. It's the magic of video editing. But all in all, this one went pretty quick once I actually laid it down on the card. I did a, a fair bit of pre-planning on this one. Um, you know, since it wasn't like the original card, I, I did sort of sketch it out, play with it a bit in uh, Procreate, 
to see what it would look like splitting the head. Um, I didn't include that here, but uh, it definitely helped with um, sort of envisioning how I wanted it to look on the card. Some of the details might only add in color uh, his large eyeball on the monster side of the head has some red veining on it but it would uh, it would look kind of crummy in my opinion if I'd done the black lines on it so you'll see when I do the red detailing on it with the little micron red pen get that veining action in there. Cleaning up those extra pencil lines with the eraser. Stuff that's coming out from the edges there. There's one little spot. Got it. And now on to the color. Uh, y R zero zero or zero two. I can't remember. The darkest color I'm using on his skin is. Uh, called sand, it's E33, right there. And then I just go back over it with the uh, lighter colors again, to blend it in a little bit. colored cheeks and a little dab of white highlight there. Nice uh, light blue eyes on that side and then the red on the other side. Nice to add a little bit extra darker shade in there. Here's the micron red veining in the eyeballs. Three colors for the green. This is the lightest color I'm doing kind of first around the edges or the spots where I want it sort of highlighted a bit more. Um, when I lay that down, I do go a little bit further than where I actually ultimately wanted because when I come back over with the darker colors, I can, you know, overlap it a bit, covers it up nicely.
I was just going back in to blend those up a bit. These types of alterations to the original card um, for the contract that we have with Tops, we can't do this type of thing. But uh, but they do say that we can do this type of thing on our personal stock. So as long as it doesn't have that Tops branding, that uh, the logo or the or the banner nameplate, all those things, those what they call the trade dress. It's it's part of their copyright. So. Um, but uh, for whatever reason, they let us do these these custom ones, and then we have a bit more freedom as far as what we can do. Finally, coming in for the brain here. Just a couple of colors there. Give it that. Feel. And there's the skull, sort of a warm gray. I think it was W3. And then coming in with the edging on the blood, which I opted to just do on that one side. So you see how flat the blood looks right there, but once you add the darker shadowed areas and then come back in with the, the gel pen for the white highlights, you really feel like it pops out real nice. Looks a lot more juicy in 3D. Three simple colors, nothing crazy, plus the outline. I felt like this area just needed a little bit more texture for his earwax and snot, so that's why I went back in there with a micron. Same kind of thing with the horn here. I wanted to give a little bit more texture, as you'll see. Just adding in some sort of scratch lines, texture, with the horn. A little tongue highlight there, come in with the main, main color. Close here, I think I just add a few more highlights. After this, yeah, get out the gel pen, white highlights, just on the edges here. Pretty subtle, can't really see it too well, but sometimes it's the little things that sort of add a little bit to it. That's about it.
I almost signed with the mic round, then I decided to switch over to the brush pen there. Thanks for watching.